Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 6 of Evil in His Vending Machine. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It feels like forever since I last recorded. I've, I've been so busy <laughs> these last couple of days, and it's not even funny. This is the entire doing job applications and praying. You like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, because, you know, he just said red is his favorite color, and she's also wearing a red scarf. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the, like, uh, this whole, we're not, we're halfway through the week, guys, of today. But going into last week, into this week, I have been very hectic and tired and such. I came home last night. And I was going to be like, all right, let's record this stuff from Sunday. No, I ate, I watched movies with my mom and then I slept around like 10 o'clock, 12. I, I, I really don't remember. I, I fell asleep. Next thing you know, I wake up at like four o'clock in the morning and I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and watch everything. I, I go in my living room to go get something to drink, my cup. And I come back and I fall back to sleep again. And my mom is like, you don't even want to take your child, take your dog. And I was like, oh my bad. <laughs> so I finally wake up again. And I'm just like, what the fuck happened? And stuff. And so I'm just like, yeah, I must have been really tired this week and such. But thank God I got energy now. But it's just, ugh. Doing three whole days of not recording, three whole days of work nonstop and busting my ass and such. Not the greatest feeling. He's so cute and awkward. Oh my god. <laughs> You want her to buy a vegetable and give it to him? Boxer, what the fuck? Hmm? Oh, you want her to make food? Duh. Mm-hmm. No. Oh! 
You're jealous, baby. Soda? <laughs> I can't take the frog seriously. <laughs> ah! I hope nothing bad happens on this trip. I guess so, yeah. I'm <laughs> The fact that he also did that without even looking. There goes my dog. <laughs> mhm. Mm Bathroom. <laughs> I 
Yeah, please, before you hurt yourself. Um, all good? Is that bad? <laughs> Good job. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> I hate to say this because if, if you know me, you already know where I'm going. Freaking pretty care. She played more of a leader in as the final care than freaking Yui did. And I hate to say that because I like Yui. <laughs> but it's true. Especially when like Yui had like episodes where she was like hugely depressed. machine do you want her to well I mean mm, I thought it would be in a bag so I'm thinking like okay you, you want them to hit the crocodiles with the ice machine bag Or, wait, 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 is it because they're going to put it in the water and the water is going to be too cold for the crocodiles? See, you know, because I'm a Floridian, I barely really know jack-ish about crocodiles and alligators. I don't know. I haven't seen a freaking crocodile in like, yeah, oh, good job, me. <laughs> I haven't seen a freaking crocodile in like, years. <laughs> Oh, an ice dispensary. What is it? Um, oh my God, what's up? I'm trying to think. 
Oh, freak me. I don't remember. Oh. Is that freeze dried ice or? It's something ice. Oh my God. You hope her say is going to be a pretty cure as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> what well, Jesus Christ. But what about Bunzo? Ooh. Is it supposed to be a cigarette machine? No, it looks more like a little drink machine. Oh! How are you? Yeah, that's so nasty, but how are you gonna get out? Oh my god.
smart, but very reckless. That poor thing. <laughs> But hey, he got out and killed it in the process. But he got out. Point? Crocodile coin? Oh. Uh, um. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh. And then we just end the episode right there, and they're like, "Hey, see you next one." Sorry, like, mm. Ah. Uh -huh. You're gonna end it on that? <gasps> you bitch! Oh my god! Not on a crying baby! Not on Lamas! That's so mean! Oh! That's a fuck you! No! I mean, mm, like, okay, it's not like bleach cliffhanger level pissed off right now for me. It's just like, damn, out of all the things. And ways they could have ended it. Yes, we're leaving it on a crying llama. It's like, no, that's not cool. No, 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 no. Because, like, when Bleach ends on its cliffhangers, because... <laughs> like, the older Bleach versus the new ones and stuff. The older ones always had the to be continued with the new one. We don't get that. The episode just ends. And we get nothing, and then we get the credits, and then we get something else, and then we get the preview. And I'm just like... <laughs> um, I never would have thought putting a can in a microwave with a newspaper and whatever else you put in there would have caused a fire. That's a smart thing. I mean, hey, I'm learning things that, you know, I never thought I would have done. I mean, the stupid thing I did as a kid was try to make a frozen... Do not judge me when I say this. I swear to God, I was a child and I didn't know. Um, <laughs> oh, too much. Okay, so as a kid, I had to be maybe like five or six, maybe seven. I don't freaking know. Um, but my mom went out and we got this like frozen pie, right? And, you know, the type of fries that she put in, like, the oven and such. And so I had asked my mom. I was like, hey, I want this. I want to make some. So I think my mom was in the shower. My grandma was watching me. And I don't know, you know, because maybe because I was a kid and such. And the way I was reading um, the directions and everything. Your girl instantly put it in the fucking microwave. Not in the oven. The fucking microwave. I could have burned the whole the house down. I could have killed everyone in the house. But I didn't know I was a baby. I just... But yeah, do not judge me for that. Do not hang that over me like any time on anything. Between that, my mom, and what the ish that I did when I was 21 and I got hella drunk. My mom likes to hold that above me. Be like, yeah, remember you did this? And I'm like... I know that's a funny moment for me, but seriously, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, we, we'll, we'll talk about that one one day. Or I probably did talk about that, if some people remember that, but we will probably never talk about that again. Um, But this was interesting. I, I love the fact that, you know, yeah, it was another Traveling Us episode for a mission and such. Don't really like the fact that Boxto got separated, but I get it for reasons. Now that he has the, the coin... Is he now going to become half demon lord and such? So now he's going to be a, de a demon vending machine. Oh my god. Um, that's hilarious. But, uh, I mean, we can say this. We can kind of say this for, due to his seiyus, um, in the Chinabu show. Uh, he became a demon lord. So, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's all I have to say. But of course, going into next week, I'm guessing like the first 15, 10 to 15 minutes might be looking for Boxo. Him and Lemus reuniting and then going back home, but still wondering what the heck that coin is going to like entitle for him and such. But I feel like he's going to give it to um, what's her face so that she can have it. But still, the coin, I'm guessing the coin has to be, as she said, for like jackpot issues and money and everything. But I, I don't think that. I think it's now something completely different where you get powers due to it because the fact is that it was defeated. So, who really knows on that? But yeah, damn good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 6 of Reborn as a Vending Machine. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 7. Bye, guys!